Apologetics comes from the Greek word apologia, which means a defense, as in a court of law. Christian apologetics involves making a case for the truth of the Christian faith. I am convinced that for any one of us to be fully conscious intellectually, we should not only be able to detect the worldviews of others, but be aware of our own, why it is ours, and why, in light of so many options, we think it is true. I urge skeptics to wrestle with the unexamined blind faith on which skepticism is based and to see how hard it is to justify those beliefs to those who do not share them. I also urge believers to wrestle with their personal and culture's objections to their faith. At the end of each process, even if you remain the skeptic or believer you have been, you will hold your own position with both greater clarity and greater humility. There will be an understanding, sympathy, and respect for the other side that did not exist before. Connection is the main purpose of apologetics. For the Christian, this means connection with God and with each other. If connection is the goal, then the means is love. As important as examining our beliefs is, if we fail to love, we will fail in every other regard. 1 Peter 3.15 is the backbone verse of apologetics. But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. This verse encapsulates every important aspect of Christian apologetics. Reverence for Christ as Lord is an essential prerequisite for building connection with others. Being prepared to give an answer means anticipating difficult questions and objections and being willing to engage with opposition. Lastly, this engagement must be gentle and respectful. As United States President Theodore Roosevelt once said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Apologetics strengthens the believer by replacing a shallow, blind faith with a robust and confident assurance that translates into every aspect of their lives. This assurance plays a pivotal role in evangelism and the shaping of culture. With so many Christians afraid to share their convictions and a second wind of opposing worldviews taking hold of the culture, it is now more important than ever that the church engage in apologetic ministry. Apologetics is a powerful tool for getting one's foot in the door to conversations about worldview. At the end of Christ's earthly ministry, he commanded his followers to spread his gospel, the Christian worldview, to the ends of the earth. Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Religion is the most categorically divisive topic to possibly engage with. A productive conversation about religion or worldviews requires humility, patience, respect, and a sufficient amount of rhetorical skill from each party involved. If these elements are missing, conversation turns to heated debate, valid arguments turn to insults, and peace becomes impossible. Because of this, many people in today's culture tend to steer clear of any kind of discussion on religion for fear of starting a fight. This has made the single most important topic that could be discussed taboo. This taboo has not only halted discussion on religious ideas, but has altogether undermined how we think about our own worldviews. If discussion and honest inquiry are suppressed, we will either sort through the issues alone or dismiss them altogether. The failure to live what Plato called the examined life may have devastating consequences that reach far into eternity. At the least, we will miss the opportunity to live our lives as abundantly as possible. To a culture that has abandoned the quest for ultimate truth and embraced individualism and postmodern thought, the one who lives the examined life stands out as a beacon of inspiration and hope. To study worldviews is to enrich your character, transform your demeanor, deepen your appreciation, guide your actions, strengthen your resolve, humble your approach, and connect with others in the most meaningful way possible.
Although our culture still avoids divisive topics, the one who lives the examined life will discover how to not only engage in peaceful discussion, but those surrounding them will be drawn in by a depth and honesty that everyone craves. Apologetics is not about forcing your opponents into intellectual submission. It is about inspiring imagination, lifting others out of intellectual slumber, and revealing the depth of life and God. Similar to evangelism, apologetics seeks to lead people in a relationship with God, but there is a distinction. If evangelism is planting and reaping, then apologetics is tilling the soil. The dividing line between apologetics and evangelism is fuzzy. Making a distinction between them, however, is helpful. Apologetics is conversational, where evangelism is invitational. While an apologetic conversation about the Christian faith can easily lead to an invitation to faith, it is much more concerned with removing misunderstandings, explaining ideas, and exploring the personal relevance of faith. Apologetics is about persuading people that there is a door to another world, a door that perhaps they never realized existed. Evangelism is about helping people to open that door and enter into the new world that lies beyond. Even though apologetics has experienced a resurgence in the last few decades, the discipline originates in scripture and has been developed throughout the centuries. There is a diverse and nuanced variety of approaches to apologetic thought and methodology. Apologetics can be classical, evidential, presuppositional, reformed epistemological, expository, cumulative case, or otherwise. Ultimately, what matters most is not the methodology of the approach, but the faithfulness to Christ and the effectiveness in leading others to Him. In an age of atheism, postmodernism, and New Age spirituality, it is now more important than ever for Christians to understand and utilize apologetics. This doesn't mean every Christian needs to be an expert philosopher or scientist. Apologetics is often portrayed as an unattainable intellectual pursuit, but in reality, most Christians have the capacity to learn various arguments and rhetoric that encourage and strengthen evangelism. Of course, this doesn't happen overnight. In the same way that learning theology takes time and effort, so will apologetics. But the value of these skills cannot be overstated. Apologetics is transformative, not only to our defense, but to our walk with God. Take your time, do your homework, think through the issues. There is an art to this process, and learning any craft takes time and a little focused effort.